So I'm going to show you how to download the 3D printing files to 3D print your own unlimited prosthetic arm. So first thing you want to do is go into your browser and type in thingiverse.com. And once you get there, you go into the search search bar for Thingiverse and type in unlimited arm. U N L I M B I T E D arm. And once you get on there, you choose the top left one, the unlimited version 2.1 arm right where my cursor is right here and so once you click on that you can see this is their home page and this prosthetic arm is mainly for people who have amputations below the elbow so that so they have at least part of their forearm left but no wrist so this is an elbow powered prosthetic so now you have there are two buttons on the right side ribbon download all files and open in customizer if you click download all files you'll download files of the default size and if you want to see what files you're downloading scroll down below the photos and click thing files and that will show you what you'd be downloading if you could just click download all right now for some reason I think they're just undergoing going through some maintenance on the designs but right now there's only one type of file that's you're able to download and that would be this file right here the tricep cuff but if you click download all you will only download this and you need more parts than just this one part to build the full prosthetic arm so what I suggest you do is you go and open and customizer and once you do that I'll take you to this screen right here but if you don't have a MakerBot account you, it might prompt you to type in your email or create an email and password or create a, or create a MakerBot account it's a free account, so you can. It's easy to do. Once you do that, it'll take you to this page. And once you get to this page, you'll notice your screen's like mine. Uh, that it looks horrible, and you really can't tell what part you're looking at other than the name. So what I did was, you right-click, create thing, open a new tab, and it should take you something like this, where all of the parts are easily visible. This is the forearm part. So you can see right here, dictated forearm. You can choose left or right arm, go to the right, it'll change sides. Then down here are measurements you need to um, input. But for this, you, only, you actually only need two measurements, from the wrist joint to the elbow and bicep circumference. So the bicep circumference, pretty obvious, you just need the circumference of the person's bicep in millimeters, and you change that and you input the size. So if I change the size here, you'll see this part change and this uh, wrist length, the wrist joint to elbow crease. So this measurement is from the tip of the amputated limb all the way to their elbow crease in millimeters. And once you get that, uh, once you put that in, put in the size and you'll see this part change accordingly. The forearm part mainly because the forearm part will, as you see, increase in length by the wrist joint to elbow crease measurement. And once you're done with that, you don't need to mess with oh, any of the other lengths, just forearm length and bicep. This, uh, the cuff and pinhole diameters, leave them alone. The hand length is just the length from, oops, from the palm only, for the palm part. From the bottom of the palm to the edge of the fingertips. That's the part that comes up. I'll show you there. There you go. So like the, this palm, the hand length, wrist joint to fingertip, it's just the wrist joint enters this part right here, where my cursor is, if you can see it. I'll do it to the edge of the fingertips, which is a separate part, edge of the fingertips. So you don't need to mess with that, that's, that's already set in this. You just need to work with the forearm length and bicep circumference. So once you're done, you go on create thing, Type in a name. The first 3D printed arm, that's just what I chose. This checkbox called Publish New Thing, that just means if you check it, your uh, your thing, this this specific prosthetic arm length and dimensions will be published to the uh, and be available to the public for download and printing. So anyone we will be able to see it and download it uh, so they can print it themselves. This checkbox will I'll uh, have Thingiverse email you when the part is done printing. So I'll have that 
checkbox, and then you just click create thing. Then they'll create your customized STL within 10 minutes. Usually it doesn't take that long. You can return to customizer to create your left arm or right arm, and then same thing, create thing, and it'll be good to go. If you click on this, it'll take you to your to the queue, and your queue will look like this. It'll be a progress bar right here. I did one, and it was finished in less than seven minutes. And so, once you're done, just go to the bottom of the photo, go and view thing, or you can customize it again if you want. Change if you messed with this. If you've made a mistake in the measurements, you can fix it. But if you're good to go, click on view thing. Another tab will open with your username and the date you created, first try. And available to the public if you allowed it, if you check, uh, if you check the box. So now there's a button here, download all the files. And if you want to see what files you're downloading, scroll to the bottom again, thing files. And you can see these are all the parts necessary to build this prosthetic arm. Just click on download all. And, and there's a zip folder filled with STL files. Got 30 objects, so then you should be able to send them directly to your 3D printer and good to go. If you need to convert these to STL files, you can find a converter online or you can use Autodesk Mesh Mixer, which is a good thing that I found. It's a great software for editing STL files or converting things into STL files and out of STL files, like to a part file. It's also very handy uh, if, if one of these parts that you have, let me choose. For example, this forearm part when I was trying to print this, it was too long. So what I had to do is shorten the length a bit so that it would fit on the printing bed. So what I did is I used Autodesk Mesh Mixer to change the size and it fit on the printing bed and everything else was fine. It's if Autodesk Mesh Mixer is a free software, it's easy to use. There are plenty of tutorials online that will teach you how to use it. But this is the one that I used in case the STL files, if they were, um, if I had to change some of the size uh, sizes in order for them to print properly on my 3D printer. But other than that, if you run into problems with your 3D printer, those are pretty specific to your type of printer and might, and you'd have to look up, uh, uh, do some research on how to fix those problems. But other than that, this is how you get to downloading those files to 3D print uh, unlimited prosthetic arm. Just go and open customizer, put in the proper measurements here, then create your thing, send it to the queue, and once it's done, you're good to go, download them, and send them to your 3D printer. And that's how you download the, download the files so that you can 3D print the unlimited prosthetic arm.